Back of the yard shooting leaves four wounded after 25 to 30 gunshots fired into a group said by Chicago police. Residents call for Mayor Lori Lightfoot to remove guns from wrong hands by Maher Kawash and ABC7 Chicago Digital Team. This was originally published on Sunday, July 24th, 2022. I know a lot of the right-wing, reactionary, conservative nutcases like to bring up Chicago, and they ask every left-wing YouTuber, why don't you talk about Chicago? They only say that to try to mitigate an argument, not to actually make an argument for how they want Chicago to be better because the right wing doesn't actually care about making America better. They just like to bring up arguments for their fascist totalitarian state that they imagine. But I want to say here I am talking about Chicago and what my solution is to Chicago. Now, for you, right wing conservative who believes in the gun and it's your phallus that you worship. Tell me what's your solution for Chicago, because I can tell you what happens in Chicago happens in the rest of America all over America. Go check out every other video I did on mass shootings. It happens in a lot more places than Chicago. But let's read. A chaotic scene played out on Chicago's south side just before midnight with dozens of rounds fired at a group gathered outside near West 54th and South Paulina streets. Four men were injured and taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center with injuries from that back of the yard shooting on Saturday night. Two of them were listed in good condition while the others were critically hurt. 25 to 30 gunshots were fired 25 to 30 gunshots were fired in a first world nation the greatest nation on earth the greatest nation on earth is a war zone cars parked on the street were also hit and some residents were left cracked with with cracked windshields and visible bullet holes a woman living in the area for decades didn't want to be identified but told abc7 there are far too many guns in the wrong hands across chicago not just across chicago across america no american should be allowed to hold a gun you wouldn't let a baby hold a knife americans are literally the stupidest people on the planet because if you believe in the gun, gun culture if you think the second amendment is your right to be an american and it's what makes you american you are complicit in the evil that pretend, that continues to persist because you give money to the gun manufacturers who continue to give money to the right wing lobbyists and all the other lobbyists that advocate for this Second Amendment myth and hysteria to permeate in, in the American mind. It's a parasite. You, if you are a gun buyer, you are literally giving money to the people who supply the warplanes that drop that drop drones over Syria, Pakistan, Somalia. South Sudan, anywhere, anywhere American terror exists in the world, it stems from the gun manufacturers. So if you would not give money to Donald Trump, then you shouldn't give money to the gun manufacturers as well. And some people are saying, well, these are gang members in Chicago. <laughs> Where do they get their guns from? I spoke about this in my previous videos about the, the gun violence in America. They get these guns from red states nearby, Indiana, uh, Kansas, Kentucky, all these other places near Illinois. They drive to and bring the guns back. OK, so anybody who wants to say these gang members are getting these guns illegally, all illegal guns were once purchased legally. How the fuck is that so hard to understand? You allow legal guns to persist. Of course, there will be an illegal market, just like there is for any other product that's sold legally. There's an illegal market. Secondhand Jordans, all sorts of stuff. Right. Anyway, with all these guns, I'm going to say this. You cannot say nothing wrong to nobody. She said, we all should learn to love each other, care for each other as God loves the whole wide world, said this lady. This sweet old lady in this neighborhood has the right heart, but unfortunately, she doesn't live in a Christian nation. America is only a Christian nation in name because a Christian nation should not allow its citizens to hurt each other. But, you know, they don't care about that. God to them looks like a long black phallus that shoots bullets and secretly they want to fillet, put in their mouth because they love that gun. They want to suck a dick and the dick is a gun. She called on Mayor Lori Lightfoot to do more specifically on the South Side. They need to take all these guns. What's my mayor doing? She said, she don't even walk the neighborhood <laughs> and she don't even have to walk it. Just drive through the neighborhood. At this point, police have not arrested anyone. Area one detectives are investigating. Listen, I have no qualms about Lori Lightfoot. Don't know much about her. I don't live in Chicago. I have family in Chicago, but I don't live there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if they meant to put that in the article to attack uh, the mayor instead of attacking the people who did the shooting or attacking the gun culture in America, which is more problems, which is more problematic. So I'll just say to Lori Lightfoot, if you're not talking about uh, 
getting rid of the guns in Chicago, at least in, in the city that you are in control of or advocating for that, at least fuck you, suck my dick. Anybody who uh, is uh, not on this side of the issue of getting the guns out of America, in my point of view, you're literally in the hands of uh, the most evil companies in the in the world. War merchants, the gun, the gun manufacturers buying these weapons. Listen, these weapons, <laughs> the people who make these weapons definitely don't give their money to Bernie Sanders. I'll say that at least. Right. So uh, <laughs> I'll just say, you know, Chicago is here. The solution to this is uh, abolishing the Second Amendment in America or making guns so prohibitively hard to get that these sorts of shootings don't happen. How long will this continue? I don't know. Now, right wing, it's your turn. What's your solution for Chicago? Or do you just want to say that really what you secretly want to say, you're just racist against black people and you think we're pathologically violent? Because trust me, the violence is happening in white communities too. Go check out all the other mass shootings I've done. So anyway, my name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching.